of the river. Ifka's recently fed in our keel timber, deadwood we're calling, below the boat there, back aft. Um, she's made it flat, true and square with uh, hand planes, worked a bit more delicately to get everything, you know, to the right size and shape. And she's been working hard on getting that laminated under the hull. She's actually glued that on now and that's in place and we're just waiting for bolts. Um, we're hoping to go through bronze and brass fasteners on the mainland to get some bolts ready, silicon bronze bolts, to bolt that together and then that's sort of in place and once those bolts are in we can think about lifting the engine in over the top because the engine sits on top of those bolts so it's important to have that bolted together and a painted bilge and everything done under the engine before we put the engine in. Um, so she's done a great job in getting that ready and glued on and now we just need some bolts bolted together. Pretty good. to invest in a new tripod. <laughs> yeah. Back on Matt's talking channel. Today Ifka is going to finish the deadwood. Finish what you and started. Finish what you and started. Just tidying up, straightening and flattening out bits. So what you're going to do is go through with the square and sort of square this off and make it straight. So also with the rule up and down. And just this bit. This, is... this bit's a big concern and then we might have to roll that a bit, um, like make a bit of curve in it. I think Inside. these are kind of okay. We could maybe put a plane, we've got all sharp planes so we can get the grain on it. Should be all right. And here's a bit mangly. Maybe we'll just try and tidy that up a bit. Just so then the, the notch is good for the lead. You don't want to have to change or modify the notch underneath the boat. So we do that now. Here you go, girl. Um, I'm just wondering how heavy it is and if we can put it on the better work or not. I don't think we can lift it. <laughs> it should be all right, because you can kind of sit here and just, you'll be going sort of across the ground. We can try, I mean, let's just try with it on ground if it's a real pain. Yeah. Okay. I'll give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drink coffee. Ah. So, M Mr. Rooster and I, I'm going to try and work on this. I'll introduce him. He's my uh, humble assistant. His name is Jason Boy. Hey, Dylan. I don't have any food for you. Anyway, so I've started off with taking the square and just having a look to see where I can see the light and where the square is hitting. And I've just drawn a line from where there's a high point. So there's a high point there and there's a high point here. And by accurately drawing those lines, I can see sort of where I should start taking things off to make the square sit flat on the whole piece. Um, maybe a rooster can hold my pencil. You want to hold my pencil? No. You're a good boy. So I'll start with taking these bits off. Pardon? I'm just talking to the rooster. What is it, darling? You want to help? You got 
Yeah, and we got a bit of room for aero because tar and paper and stuff fills that. You just got to be careful when you're doing that if what you're doing is you're actually holding this, but you've really got to hold this bit. Okay. Or else it's not that fair. So you just, yeah, you got to hold it from the base. Yeah, that's it. Jump. Okay. Thank you, Donna. That is so sharp. Yeah. Oh, I went a bit too aggressive there, I think, with this one. This side is square anyway. Well, it isn't because it's heaps of Yeah, so the other way is probably just eyeball it. Well, that's what I've been doing. And the plane, the plane is pretty good, I'm telling you. Because it looks like. Yeah, it looks like a bit on this corner. you got a bit right up in that corner and a bit right on the end here. Yeah. And that's everywhere actually. And it's only just like that bit. Yeah, and this and bit. that bit, yeah. This is the hard bit. I've been using the rebate for yeah. that one. But maybe I need to put it a bit more aggressive. Yeah, just set it a bit sharper. I reckon. Well, another cool thing you can see with using different planes. So I just use the rebate plane, and you can see where it picked up all these little humps because it, this wood is so pretty and it changes the colour from a bit rougher to smooth. So it's almost like a guide to what still needs to happen. And then I'll go over with the other plane, the, the Lee Nielsen with the long bed, to smoothen it out and to pick up all those spots. And then go back over again with the other plane. So what we're trying to make is this bit here and we need to get that rocker in properly and Ifka's fairing in the little notch here for the lead. This is all lead up here, it's very long, but we're just making this big piece of wood here that comes into the stern post and then the rudder is built off that. Makes sense? Okay. I think Jason just needs some extra TLC. Extra what? Extra TLC only. Hello, Mr. Distraction. Hello. Hello, Mr. Distraction.
happening here is you've got because you had to take down that side, didn't you? So that sort of makes sense then. Oh no, it's the other way. It's just hard to tell until we have a bit more of the surface we've got Yeah, I'd almost just try and flatten it out. Just make it smooth. That's what I want to do anyway. And then we'll just have another look. I won't take too much off. Yeah, just get these humps and bumps out and just try and make sure it's straight. I think that'll be good. So it's time to glue the stern post on it, well the deadwood kill timber down. If it's just wiping it down with acetone to clean it up, get all the grease off. And then she's going to apply thin epoxy to each surface and then thick epoxy to the kill timber and then jack it up into place. We've made little wooden dowels that sit about an inch above and they go in through the keel bolt holes so they work as locators when we put the keel timber up and that'll um, help it from sliding while it gets compression under the boat with the jacks. I think it should work, hopefully. Are you actually going to jack it up now? Yeah. Wow. It's going to single handedly do it. Do you want the door closed? Yeah, I might. Have done some on That's not Ovi, that's Jason, our rooster. He's so sweet. Big old Jace. What I'm going to do, slide it under, position it. Probably take the gloves off. Use that jack, then use the other jack. Yeah. I'm just hoping those dowels aren't too high. <laughs> I was thinking that could be funny. Yes. Too high as in? It hits the, bo the boat yeah, before it slides under. <laughs> Pretty sure we're not. No, because you've already moved it from that side. So we've already moved it from yeah. that side so to this side. So. Okay. A little bit. It'll get more space as you go aft, I think. I think forwards actually. But then we'll never get it in. Then it won't work. Okay. Uh, I can always cut them off a little bit with. Yeah, it's getting tighter, isn't it? Yeah. Um, other option is we just take that chock out a bit. It's only a little bit more to jack. Staying canine fashion. 
only be sporting a teeny bobber. Yeah, that's it. Knitted jumper made by the Country Women's Association of Australia. Hey, grandma knits. We won't put that on video because people will tell me that I shouldn't let my dog lick my face. Slide it in there. Slide it in. <laughs> do you want me to help you get it in position? No. I can do this. Okay. Nice. The only thing I'm worried about is that there's a gap here, yeah. but it's tight on the other side with squeezing. Ah, uh, the jack's crooked. So, if yeah, that's okay. Wedge that and then take the jack down and move it a bit more central. Yeah, because it's off to one side, so try and get it exactly in the middle. And then I feel like there's more overhang on the other side, but maybe that doesn't matter. Because uh, I don't think it should should not really be able to move it. Only here on the front, maybe, but... No, I think that's it. The marks back here match up, so that's just where we decided to put it. Mm. We didn't even know that something's happening in here. It's a secret code. Thank you. Yes, the, the varnish is also looking well. Mm -hmm. 